With other materials, it was impossible to make a bend like this one and be sure that the diameter wouldn't change. It doesn't corrode, it's a material that always keeps the thickness of its cross-section, it's marvellous. That's one of the problems with multilayer. We've never had a problem, but I know about other installers who had problems when the joint has blown. We can save loads of time with this kind of material. It seems that this material that has no soldering is more resistant. That's obvious. Because of the angle here, uh, there's no way to do it without using an elbow fitting. I'd have to use a fitting. There's no kind of corrosion in the tube, no splits or anything. The problem we've got here is where the pipes cross. The walls aren't very deep, but with this material I can make a mark here, do this, and this, and bend the tube just like I want. It means you can install it with fewer support struts and unwanted bends. It's perfect, and aesthetically it's really nice. This blue colour helps to identify the new sack pipe. The pipe is better, more flexible, stronger. It's a pipe that guarantees us a better job. It's totally watertight. Seems a good option. You can use a fitting and it fits perfectly. I've never seen a tube like this. It's smooth. The bends don't go out of shape, it holds its cross-section diameter, and installing the fitting is easy. It's a material with a future.